Now that all the injectors have been cleaned and tested, we are installing them back in the fuel rail. This is where the fuel supply comes from. Make sure all the injectors have got new rubber and they're all sitting in the rail nicely. Fuel rail on, some bolts, do them up. Now that all the injectors are done up, just make sure they're nice and firm in there. Give them a bit of a wiggle. Make sure that there's no, nothing's gonna leak basically. It's all feeling pretty solid. Apply copper gas spray to the next gasket. Now that I've dropped this on the floor three times and cleaned it three times, it's finally painted and it has got no dust and sand in it this time. I'm gonna wait for it to cool down well, get tacky, and then I'm going to put it onto the engine. Lay down the gasket. Make sure it's the right way up. And then put the manifold on. Manifold's been all prepped. Again, 1200 grit sandpaper on the surface with a file, making sure that the surface is nice and flat and clean. A little bit of acetone as well to clean it up. Now the manifold's in place, we're gonna do up the nuts, sorry, the bolts, just finger tight. Then I'm gonna torque them up with a torque wrench. Something like 30 or 40 foot pounds with this one. And there you have it, there's the main part of the engine complete. Now we're just gonna start putting all the ancillary stuff on. Still gotta torque up that big bolt down the bottom there though, 300 and something newton meters. That's pretty much the engine.